gather around, Mains, and let me tell you the tale of a bear. It was a warm summer day in the Hundred Acre Shower as Sudsy visited the barber shop. While he was getting his trim, he thought to himself how he couldn't wait to go home and shower after. After all, what can make you feel more fresh and clean than a shower and a haircut? And then it hit Sudsy. Oh bother, what if I brought the barber shop to the shower? After getting hooked up with his taper fade, Sudsy bolted to the laboratory to begin work on a new brick. With that vintage manly smell of a barber shop, it was a bar with unmatched freshness. One perfect after getting a crisp new look. And that means it's how Sudsy created his fresh cut brick. Yeah, man. Welcome to the Frick Cast and to the Sudsy Bear Soap Guides. Today, we're getting dapper with the Barbershop. This is the latest bar from Sudsy Bear, their take on the classic barbershop flavor. It's a brick that promises to leave you feeling clean, like an old-fashioned barbershop. So let's sit back, listen to the barber's life story, and get into this hot new brick. We'll start with the unique ingredients, and we're better to kick things off than with the always nifty goat's milk. This boy is of course slammed with skin benefits. We're talking moisturizing, cleansing, exfoliating, soothing, and anti-inflammatory. Goat's milk also contains fatty acids and probiotics that protect and lead to healthier skin. We also have chamomile powder, a flower you may recognize from the tea. This ingredient is a deeply soothing one. It's anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, fights against acne, slows signs of aging, and leaves skin softer and brighter. And last we have Tossa Silk, which is silk produced from silkworms. This is a very interesting ingredient and adds some unique benefits to the soap. Gives our brick an improved lather, some shine, and a silky feel. It also leads to softer, moisturized, and nourished skin. Overall, we have ourselves a very promising brick, with some standouts for unique ingredients that promise to leave you feeling nice and refreshed. It's a bar that when asked the question of, should you shower before or after a haircut, responds with both. The scent, of course, is that classic barbershop smell. It's like a very nifty, old-fashioned shaving cream. The notes of it are hard to describe, but it's a relaxing, clean, manly scent. Potency-wise, it's not quite the strongest Sudsy bar, but there's some strength to it, enough to bring the scent of a fresh shave to the shower, without actually having to be one of those people who shave in the shower. Now I should start by saying that being a newer batch, my bar was really soft. I needed to let it cure for even longer than I did, and I'd have to imagine the brick would be better. Still, even though it was softer when I used it, it was still a great bar to use. It didn't have the thickest lather, but it did feel silky, as well as deep cleaning and moisturizing, just like you'd expect from a Sudsy bar. The ingredients really shine here and have you stepping out of the shower feeling fresh. It of course has zero grit, instead it's smooth, like a clean shaven bar. As for my thoughts, I do like the barbershop brick. It's not quite one of my favorites from Sudsy, but I do think this brick be bussin'. It may move up to rather nifty down the line, but for now, I think it's a fair spot. The Sudsy Bear version of the classic barbershop flavor is a great addition to any shower. The scent is, of course, a fresh, clean, manly one, smelling like a high-end shaving cream. The bar, while maybe not quite reaching the level of some other bricks, feels good to use. For the Sudsy Bear menu, it's a pretty unique bar. Most of their soaps go for more of a woodsy, fruity, natural scent, so it was nice to see them try their hand at something a little different. That's only my opinion though, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments. Are you rocking with the Barbershop Bar? Let me know if you get your hands on this vintage brick. Sudsy was proud of his new bar, bringing the freshness of the Barbershop to the cleanness of the shower, but there are still many more brick tales to be told, which should be next. 